Hello and welcome to my YouTube. Um, <laughs> welcome to the second part. I'm having the voice record over my video because in the original, I uh, look at my goofy butt. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk and my mic was off. So in this recording, uh, <laughs> I'm just so I'm just gonna be talking in there and like you guys can't hear me at all, but it's goofy. Um, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna record over it though and uh, tell you what I was talking about. Basically, I'm just I'm psyched, ready for the game, getting into it and everything. Uh, here we go. We're starting out here. Uh, looks like I'm looking where to go here. I'm confused for like a Let's second. For a moment. Uh, I think, oh, and I stopped the rest here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna go. Let's keep moving, buddy. Come, come on, buddy. <laughs> Realize there's the wall there. And that's where you gotta go. Um. <laughs> there we go. We figured it out. I figured it out. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, we're about to fight this fight. But now these guys are a pain in my ass every time. When I first started uh, playing this game, and the security, the security doors, like, they're just mad aggressive with their grab attacks. And you gotta dodge a lot of these. Um, actually blocking them is better if you're just really precise with your blocks. So, I uh, got enough damage in it that I got to the, you know, the good stuff where I got to mess them up. I'm talking about getting a stim right here. Or actually, not getting a stim. I'm talking about. Oh, I you know I was used to having a lot of stims in my Stand first playthrough, and then we ran into that. Um, and then I thought it was goofy how they both hesitated for a second to see which button they would press. Uh, the animation just kind of sometimes is like really, a <laughs> like really adorable here. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's any chests over here or not. Uh, anything else to grab. Uh, looks like not, nah, so we're jumping down. Yup. Uh, by the way, I hope everyone's having a great day. Oh, dude, these things are in my ass every time as well. Like, I don't know why, but I struggle the most with them. I know that you can pull them toward you, but every time, every time I forget about that, uh, and so I end up having to fight this. Oh, it looks like I did remember it there. I caught him in the doorway, which is even better. But now I'm out of force. Uh, and I am jumping here just to attack it. There we go. We got the good attack on it. Um, and we go into this room. Uh, this boss dude pops in. I don't get mad serious, look at me. I'm just I'm zoned in, ready for the fight. Seeing what this guy's about to be capable of. Oh, 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 knock this shield down. Let's go. He got some help. He's saying some quips and stuff, and I'm reacting to that. Saying, oh, really? You know, you stupid. Uh, where is it? I didn't even realize he said that, bro. There's some things that I don't catch him saying. Um, I don't know. I get way too focused into the fight. The Empire Strength is me. <laughs> Goofy. Shirai, you know what I'm I'm out of health, so I'm backing up. Let's pop that stem. Going back into the fight. Oh, he dodged. Get back into it. Hey, yo. Putting some damage down on this dude. Ooh. Ay, 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 ay. Not today. <laughs> I got mad. Excitedly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my reaction right there. Um, let's see. I think I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Um, that and talking. About, I don't even know. Oh, the light up. Yep. We use the lightsaber like a glow stick, okay. <laughs> um, I have no idea what I was saying here, to be honest with you. I just kind of, I kind of just talked. Okay, here we go. We're getting this force crystal. Uh, I was actually trying to figure out what it was for. Um, it's from the force essence. 
Like, yeah, force is always good. At the same time, I'm grabbing water there. I'm grabbing water right now because at this, pr I guess at that point in time, I'm getting, you know, to the point where I'm, I'm talking way too much. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out where to go. I keep missing it, and now I, since I played it, I know exactly where I kept fumbling. And I go right over here, I'm like, is it this door? Am I supposed to push it? No. There's a locked door. Uh, yo. <laughs> okay. Well, now we check over here. Because I was super, you know, just tripped out. That way's blocked. Uh, we scanned the laser gate. We'll come back later. Cal even says to come back to it later. Go out here, check out again. There's no pad, you know, no platforms or anything like that. So I'm still kind of tripped out. Like, okay, wait. Hold on, where do I go here? I know I can't go there. I go back into this room. Uh, I go running around in here again, like what? And I look at it again, but I keep passing it. <laughs> I walk in here, I'm like what? Is there anything to jump onto? Is, uh, do I jump in here? I know for a fact that I jumped in here and tried to. I walked right by it again. Yep, see? See me jump in there? See me jump in there? No, no. Hey, buddy, turn back around. Where are you going? I'm looking at the map. Okay, so I know I definitely have to go that way. Like, okay, I can go that way. Oh, right. Go through here. Right. <laughs> Took me a second, took me a second. It's all right though, it's all good, we got through here. Um, yeah. Not the enemy. I can confuse people, I dodge out of this person. Yeah, so clean. The attack on this guy. And then, uh, yeah, we did that all now. Oh, that was so, oh, that was so brutal, man. me to use it like that. Just so fucking brutal. Every time I see that, I'm gonna just like the mad skill. Um, I got confused for a second because I thought the L1 was pointing in there or L2. My bad. Go over here to look for a crate if there's any. And then mad jump up onto that. Uh, he's saying some and stuff like that. Well, I think you, know myself, I think you never have to, but you're about to. Because I'm about to mess you up. And this was like the cleanest go to a pad on this one. Um, that was a dumb jump. I don't know why I did that. Oh, that was so clean. And that one. I'm popping them both. I think I gave you a beer. Or maybe I said before, but yeah, I did get there. Okay. Just trying to focus on this guy, and then I was like, yeah, that guy. And this dude got buffed up, so I threw him. And that's what the game. And then this dude got the gun. went weird. Messed him up as long as this is a guy. Well and then I jumped into that battle. Alright, and now we're gonna go up the stairs. I think I was gonna just check around to see if there's anything that I missed. Um, I was like, I don't think so. So I jump across and uh, if for some reason it latched onto that ledge, I didn't even mean to. Uh, and then I got confused because I got hit again. And I was like, what? I thought I took care of everybody. Apparently not. Took a stim. That dude's about to blow up, so I ran away. There he goes. Here you go, back. Up the stairs. Alright. Because I thought there was more. Uh, more to check, so. I think I came to the conclusion. Well, I guess there's not. So I hopped onto this one again. And I rode it back. Instead of climbing everywhere. And uh, yeah, I noticed that thing right there, but I know you can't get through those, so I left it alone for now. I'm gonna 
pop this entrance. Doorway. I run jump. through. We got the L2. I'm jumping. Let's get it. Clean. And then I looked back because I was like, crap. Uh, yeah. We should check this. <laughs> I don't know why I actually looked back, to be honest with you. This occurred to me. Look back. Um, and then we found a chest, and that actually has the paints in it. And at this point, I'm actually saying, I remember what I was saying. I was like, it's always important to look back. Even when you don't think there's something. Dude, in these types of games, dude, it always happens that there's something behind you. Uh, you know, like item-wise. So, just definitely look back at these, at those points. Uh, right here, I'm talking about the different things that just you know that we've unlocked uh single versus dual double bladed i like the double bladed it's just so much better uh defense wise um and then resilience is always helpful we're going to be building that up um as well as putting a point into the double bladed and then jedi the, i'm talking about like the different you know tricks and stuff the cut telekinesis to move stuff around. Confusion is to confuse the enemies. Uh, Jedi, like Jedi my tricks, and then we got concentration. Concentration is gonna build up your Jedi force, and so you really want to focus on that one, uh, so that everything is being able to be used to its max. Uh, so the Jedi concentration kind of comes before everything else. Um, on the on the force stuff. But I think resilience is like the best thing to focus on in the very beginning. So I put a point in there. Um, I'm gonna pop out of this. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I'm just continuing what I was just saying just now. <laughs> uh, yep. I just checked to see if that door would open. I'm gonna look around this corner, see if there was anything there. I thought I saw something, so I doubled back. Um, mostly because you can't run off. Like, I just ran off some of these walls. So I was like, oh, is it possible? And then I didn't want to risk it. And there's like nothing visible to see. Uh, so I was like, okay, maybe not. For me, it's always like, you know, even if it's not visible, sometimes like there are things that you can miss. So I tend to just check anyway. Um, but that one looked like really a dead end, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Yup, hello buddy. Hell, <laughs> you just spotted me so quick. Good little cutscene here. I really do hope that dude is a good guy for like the rest of the team. Um, mostly because it would just be so tragic for Kyle to like lose that last friend, you know? Um, out of like the, <laughs> the group that he just had. If Bo just turned out to be a bad dude, oh, poor guy. I mean, he still got like his main group in the last year. This one's really shooting from that close, you can't hit. Damn. Talk about tragedy. Incoming! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, that's so far though. And here we go with the battle against the one and only Dunk. <laughs> there she is, the ninth sister. And this is gonna be some fun right here. I actually have a really good time with these light like, battles. Something about them is just so tricky. So fun. If you can get that on the hit, you do some damage to it. You can also block the stab. So it's always good to try that right. I'm not really doing too hot on the block. I am dodging pretty damn well though. And the red 
attacks always pop up so quick in this one. I don't know why, but maybe it was the same in the last one. It probably was, and I'm just ripping out. But like, I don't remember the going so fast. To... But you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. All the guilt you're feeling for those way. fools you led to their deaths. Don't want to talk over it. Makes you so, so predictable. But, but yeah, it seems to pop up so quick with the red, like the red attacks. They're, they are dodgeable. Like, it's not bad, but it does catch you. And I was talking about right here, you know, it's best to just hold back. Right there. Oh, here we go. There he is. There he is. Pull her close. Um, when she's doing it, right? Yeah, like, good thing. Kind of like push it up and stuff. She wants to let her, like, fully toward her. You can just not do it. Unfortunately, I'm on my last thing, and I'm having to use it. Is any more damage? Uh, dodge power away. Um, but we did get through the first phase, and now we're into the second. We're getting really close to the third. So it's not like a bad attempt per se. It's definitely not the best. But we're going to spin third. No way that cow just takes like that. You're just like, oh yeah. And then we unlock this mode. Dual stance. So good. So good offensively. Like and it's okay. I don't know, it's alright when it comes to defense. Um, but it's just so good when it comes to offense. Now it's just see me land in the lane system, dude. We're getting really close. We actually had a really close run. We don't see what happens here. I'm so concentrated. Then she pops to that again. I hate it when we get that. So we close. I got hit by that, even though I was trying to dodge out of the way. I was actually trying to dodge to her side, but not that close. I just walk past that though. I'm already down. I got that. I was like, dang it. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know what I'm talking about right here. I think it's things that make sense. I actually turn around, double back, and rest up. I don't know. I don't really know why I did this. Don't ask. I just did. Um, but those dudes, I just like to pull them toward and then just stab them through because, you know, it's quick. And I don't want to get any damage, you know, unnecessarily. We're gonna jump down. Double flip back. I'm trying to grab that, but uh, I keep walking back. This so, that's what you're supposed to do when she does the force push. If you hit it at the same time, it cancels out, and you you can stand it so you're ready to go. A bit better this time around. Right? There's quite a few fights that you get into in this game where you have to do that. Uh, you don't necessarily have to, but it's going to save you a lot of time. We are already at the third. <laughs> I'm fucking psyched. <laughs> you can see me just over there, like, yo, pumped. Let's go. You're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. Mm, you can sense it, huh? All the guilt you're feeling for those fools you nah, led to their death. Not as bad as you are, though. That's I think it makes I you that. so, so, so predictable. So predictable. 
So that's why I say, you know, make sure you know, craft, and then I got it. See what I'm saying? I try to block the Really don't know how she's missing. Who? Although it leaves her wide open for attack. Like you hit her. You know, she just like Phase three, sure and I still those? have a stem left, and most of my really? health. So she's very little help. I got a lot. I'm really, really good. That's what I'm doing. I get more damage. She does that right at the last second. If you didn't notice that, her stamina bar was literally on the break. And then she goes into this. And it was like, really? Okay, block. She's Runs down. LA in So close now. All I really gotta do. I feel like I need only one tap. But then it tells me, oh, bad ass pussy. I think I'm saying something about like Masana. You were a Jedi Knight before you betrayed our order. Crazy, I like to drink water at the same time as me in the bed. It's weird. It's not, it's not like I like to do that, but like, Your name was I just seem to at the same time. Wait, myself. <laughs> and cut across the chest. Oh, and I was saying how it's so, it's so creepy how calm he is right there. You free. Holding back all his man, when you got that kind of calm, and that's what you do. Whew. Yeah, man, cows a beast. Okay. Don't mess with them. I said I like the uh, dual wield more than I like the single. And I like the dual uh, blade as well, so I like to have those two on. Um, one is just more defensive, and one's more like really offensive. And 
pretty damn good. I mean, they're pretty good Let's get going, BD1. in the other direction, too. Both are really good with offense and with defense. But they're definitely better in their respective traits. Like, dual bladed is definitely better when it comes to defense. And dual wield is just way good and, like, offensive. You know, hits, so... Checking around for a chest. Um, all right, let's go through here. Rest this shit. You know what I'm saying? Focus. I'm gonna take a rest. I'm gonna hit the. Are we gonna hit the skills? Yeah, we're gonna hit the skills. We're gonna go into. I believe this time we hit up the dual bladed, the double bladed. But I was debating between like two different things here. I think I was debating between. Oh, I was talking about how these are all, you know, unlocked and the differences. But with the lightsabers, when I was hovering over it, resilience is good. Now, I think I was trying to decide between Jedi concentration and the double bladed moves and i think i go with the vortex dive because it saved me on so many different occasions like through through the red like through some of the other parts of the game so i definitely was like yeah i'm thinking i think i'm thinking that um but I, i'm still t like thinking about like the different directions i could go if i went with this this one's a really good move as well endless hurricane just purely acrobatic and <laughs> just really cool um but it does a lot of damage either one is pretty good but it unlocks the throw out round like the um the vortex dive if you unlock that one first you get the throw around the lightsaber around you and then the other ones have i mean the other one just unlocks four different abilities so it's like I go with this one, I unlock the one, but if I go with the other, then I unlock so many more um, to go through. And then I definitely want to work on my Jedi Concentration next, because if you work on your Jedi Concentration, it should come come before the Telekinesis and the other one, just because it's just going to help you out. I mean, it builds up your force, you're able to use it more, um, but yeah, so... Oh, and I was talking about the animation between breaking the lightsaber in half and having it, you know, in a dual wield and uh, double bladed. And the animation is so dope. We unlock this. Or, actually, no, this is a data bank. I was confused for a second. I was like, what are we, what are we doing? Boat. Bravo. I wasn't paying attention, so. Let's get back to the anyway, we're running here. If the others made it out. They'll meet us at the hangar. If not. Here the yellow short shoulder guy, padded guy. Shoulder padded guys first, and then uh, take care of the nice man. Uh, we're gonna pop up that. I accidentally hit it. I was like realizing it at this point. I was like, why did I do that? It's so, <laughs> it's so goofy, bro. It's like, all right, let's hop onto the fire now. And this kind of some foreshadowing. Um, uh, in the rest of the game, if you play further on, you'll recognize that other character. Uh, but yeah. Going at this point. Oh, that was so smooth. Bang. Bang. There you go. Fine, guys. Now, now, time to deal with the real enemy here. The real battle. This is the real fight here. Just these guys with the purple. They're just a tad bit stronger than your. Uh, so there's like three levels to this one for you so far that I really figured out. Alright, I guess four. Uh, you have the ones that just straight just shoot you a blaster. They're very easy to take care of. And then you have the ones that have like the machine gun like blaster with the shield. 
and those aren't too bad. You just need to be careful first. And then you have the ones with the blade, and they come off a little bit stronger, and they normally have the pad on their shoulder. Uh, and they're a bit stronger, and they can do quite a bit of damage if you don't dodge well. So, and then the purple guys, the one that I just fought right there, that guy, uh, he's definitely another level. Um, but it's such a fun battle. Like, oh god, I love the battles in this game. They're just so clean and they're so fun. They don't, uh, <laughs> they don't overly like do it where you get to the point where you like this is nice off one. or anything it's just kind of like you learn what to do with certain enemies and then you just you know execute but the execution is just timing getting it down uh i was talking about a dead like the dead end right here like where are you supposed to go because you're kind of like leaning leading me on and i know that's the point of this platform but like what Come on now, stop leading me on so much. Uh, open the door. We're gonna go through. Here's gonna be a little cutscene here. Oh yeah, he pointed his guns real quick. Thanks to this crazy son of a gun dog. You're hurt. I'll manage. I just what happened to the Inquisitor? <laughs> Dead. And in the vibs. Twins. I, sh I should have. They know what they signed up for. We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrera. That's how we honor the fallen. You're right. Yeah. BD, call the ships. Service I was hoping for. Bravo. Oh no. You got Overwatch? On it. Alright. I'll draw the fire. You hit them when they aren't looking. Let's get some payback. See you in the mix, Scrapper. <laughs> he called me Scrapper. <laughs> I remember that. Alright, now we're gonna be running out these doors here. Um Yep. And then I uh, started talking about uh how I remember those electric things in the last game, but I don't remember. But now I'm sort of starting to. Uh, it's sort of coming back to me. I think I've got you we covered. learned how to Let's use do this. the lightning in the last one. And that's the thing. Like, you learn skills in the previous game, but then all of them are locked by the time you get to the... When you get to the next game. Like, the dude already knows them. Like, why are we just using those and building them? You know, there's two different ways to go about it, but they went the unlearned route. So, uh, so these guys, those those guys that I, I, the guy that I was just fighting, he's kind of in there too. He's just a weird, you know, uh, like a half step down from the dude. So these dudes that run in with the swings and whatnot, they easily die. Can give you a hard time if you're not used to dodge. That makes any sense. <laughs> um, Bowden and I just wiped those dudes out. I'm just cleanly trying to get those dudes out as well. Just kind of hanging out my way. Hello. All these flash shots. And then all these dudes going up back. Bo's doing really well at this game. And then Rock did the foul. And then he comes in with a brutal attack on the dude right here. I hit him again, force push him. Bo shoots him to oblivion. The teamwork is unreal. Um, Alright, yeah, so we're running out. I decide to go ahead and. <laughs> I noticed another platform. Alright. You lead to no one. Why? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I decided to check around to see if there's any crates real quick. So. 
That's what I do. I run around the mantis. So, yup. No crates. Nothing of value. But we're, we're gonna keep running. I decided to check this door because I'm like, eh, it's kind of weird that... It, you know, this is the only thing over here. And I'm kind of amazed by like how big the room actually is. This game is so phenomenal, and, like big, like that. Space-wise, it's crazy. So we go in here, check to see if this does anything. Nothing. So I run back out. We start the interaction with the the cutscene here. So here we go. Z95. Nice. That one's all yours, boat. I had a hunch this might be a hot exit. So you both in the air. Ready? Oh, this has been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. Locator beacon. Got the other on the mantis. When things cool off, oh, yeah. come and I find really me. I hope that What's Bode that is a good guy, dude. Yeah, sure, I can trust you. If Bode becomes like a tell. bad guy, dude, oh, oh that'd be, be so done. awful. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? If I haven't already expressed this, like... Bode? May the force be with you. He'd be like the only one out of that group. You're a great fighter, Cal. Let's Man. see how well you fly. Man. I hate to see it. I hate to see him turn bad. I guess we still got what's his name. But you're about to see. Well, let's kind of see what happens. How we looking, BD? Oh. Whatever it is. I'll have to wait until we get someplace safe. Confused. As soon as we breach the surface, jump uh, the And actually, I felt it. Something Gotta vibrate. Take a risk. With We've already foot. overstayed our welcome. I didn't actually hear it. I felt it. Oh, and I was like, oh it's my controller. So I set my controller down. We got company. And, uh, we go with the kind of wish I had been able to play well, in this part, but I get why they did this. It. It's just that, uh, part of the story. Too. Can you imagine if you had to go between playing the story and actually like nice playing, work, everyone. you know, having the story we'll playing between the actual fighting and then going back and forth? It just kind of falls back to the story. I'll peel off, draw a few and away. that's kind of what I see Good here. You too, Cal. See you soon. It's good. There goes both. So this me and this dude. Can't shake him. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, let me check. 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 Let here we go. We got more bad guys over there. Kills down. We're almost. Ah! Yeah, that dude is toast. So, Bode, if he turned evil at this point, he would be the only one out of this group to survive. Took some hits back there. And it's just so sad. If that's, I transmit if the, that's intel. the case, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think he will, but I haven't really played all of the game yet. I've only played up to a certain point. Uh, so at a point, I mean, you're gonna see me see new stuff, and Set. you know, it's gonna be different from how I'm playing right now because I know everything that's happening for the most part here. And I really don't mind playing it a second time because this shit is so fun. Poor
poor guy. I know he's like I'm hoping that day was Andy, worth it, man. Hey, are you making a horror movie? Hey, ah, uh, He is vast, Troy. And I have man, seen only a little girl, of what it has man. to offer. He's grown. He's grown, Marin. I. But one day. Yeah. I will return to Dathomir. She's spicy in this one, by the way. Oops. They were not invited. Leaked a bit of information, yep. You'll see. If you haven't already, you'll see. Fam all to together. Like yup, let's go. Well, what do you think? I don't really think they're enjoying the food, no. Grease. <laughs> it's good. Except for my man Cal over there so just going at it. <laughs> to be honest, he probably doesn't get a lot to eat. <laughs> I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh yeah? Hey, I might start charging. And that's what I'm talking about in a bit too, so I love Grease though. He's so funny. Such a good character. And dude, I pointed out, like, look at Seer though. She looks so fucking like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> like, done with the place, man. She's like, over it. What's that? Gyro's failing. You got some damage to the ship. Uh, any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? Yeah, they're they're wanted by everybody, so that's gonna yeah. be impossible almost. Pull up the Kobo system. That's where you settle down. Out in the middle of nowhere. Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? But then I pointed out, wouldn't out in the middle of nowhere be like actually out in the middle of nowhere in space though? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, I mean, yes, you have your galaxies, but like, yo. Mess. Technically, if you chose any other planet in a different solar system to us, as humans, as homo sapiens on Earth, that shit would be out in the middle of Let's nowhere. Get this back on the workbench. Currently, um, and yeah, there's so many customizations. We're about to customize our lightsaber so here. Clears my head. Uh, basically, I talk about. Uh, as we're going through this, actually, I'll just talk about it. Patience is, like, my favorite one. Rebel is also cool, but Patience is what I like to go with. Uh, Patience and a uh, mixture of that and Jaro to Paul at the very beginning because it's the only shit you really have that looks pretty good. I mean, Rebel Hero is always fire, too, but I like the look of Patience and Jaro to Paul. So I do a mix of both of those. I like the handle for Jar to Paul like the most out of the ones that are in the options right now. Uh, for the pommel, of course, I like uh, throw the ball and then we change up. And I'm talking about lightsaber colors. I like uh, orange and yellow and light blue for Cal. It just it fits with his you know look and everything. Um, but obviously you can go with any color and it'd be fine. Probably even green would be even looking good too. 
but yeah. And for some reason, it still said that I had like a component to look at. I don't really know why. Maybe I missed something. Uh, in this one, I'm talking about the materials. Uh, electrum plated kind of makes it look like it's gold, so I like to use that. Um, and then you polish it up all the way to 100, and it just looks so much cleaner. Um, we're going to go over to, and you can see there's a primary, there's a secondary, there's an accent, and then there's the grip. And you can change all of those colors. So there's so many different things that you could do with the lightsaber. Um, just in those aspects. Really cool and like you can couple with so many designs. Uh, but what we got right now, like I'm only able to do so much. Chromium, chromium is a good uh, silver looking, -esque, silver esque uh, decal for the uh, lightsaber and I, I like to balance it kind of in between both uh, once you do primary though like most of lightsaber is going to be colored with that and then you got condition so you can make it look ancient and I was talking about how battle worn looks really really cool if you're like wanting that I've been to war and like been to the it fight <laughs> you know great. and then you got uh the pristine and that looks like a brand new one so Let's i like to go to the pristine cockpit. myself at this time streamlabs is being goofy so i'm having to end the recording uh anyway i'll be back with a third video this time i'll make sure to have my stuff on so i'll see you guys next time peace